I don't care how we do the intro. Huh? Do we need an intro? I'll Where's make an intro. intro. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. He's Lattice and I'm Gacy. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me start with do that again, but in a second, all right? You're listening to The Arsenal, a small night's podcast hosted by Lord Hood, Lazarus Clay, and Zagreus. The Arsenal Podcast, episode 101, recorded on July 21st, 2015. Alright, now you can go. I don't feel it anymore. Dang <laughs> <laughs> oh it. 10 out of 10. Uh, I try cycling. <laughs> Hang on. I'm Gladys and Sclay. He's Gladys and I'm and green. I'm green. <laughs> You're green. <laughs> That's green. <laughs> and I'm Cliff Mick. Hey, you are. Green. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm And I'm so trying. This makes sense to everyone. And when I am. Done. I am the foundation that is the computer. And I am the Arsenal Podcast. <laughs> oh my goodness. You see, here's the problem. If any new people come in that haven't like listened to all of the podcasts and they don't know our voices, they have no idea who's on. I have no idea. I've given with. me an identity crisis already. <laughs> all right. well, this is a first for Clifford. Why well, hand you the papers and you have to sign here and here and here? Don't do it. Don't There's a clause about owing him waffles. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you also don't get dinner anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, sur you're, you surrender your ability to have dinner to lettuce and pie. If you sign the papers. Alright. There's six voices that you might hear at some point through here. And we're gonna talk about Spiral Knights. Hopefully. At least At least somewhat. Or about ten seconds before we fail horribly. Mm -hmm. And then go off. Nah, we can make it. So I wouldn't be surprised if Places is raiding in Final Fantasy right now. No. No, if you locked out, I checked. I made sure to because the podcast is important. Yes. <laughs> All right. How much do you pay for this? How much do you pay to say that? Um, but, uh, I'd rather not say. You had to talk to my lawyer about that. I mean, what? Well, then. So what we're not talking about is all of the promotions that have come by, even though there have been some cool ones. Like this most recent one. Yeah. Actually, we will talk about the most recent one because so long to talk about it. Oh yeah, I did. And then okay. we're not going to talk about recurring events because we had. Did we have another apocalypse? We had another cataclysm. We had another cataclysm. We did not have another apocalypse, though. I like. I can't remember when we were last talking about when things happened because we had two we, apocalypses. We were talking there about only back when two, right? Yeah. 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 yeah there was did, definitely a podcast. Did we cover the second one? I can't remember. Yes. Okay. Black cat armor, please. <laughs> so, the only other things that are relevant, and I say that like those are little things, are we had new <laughs> missions, two sets of them. One came in February, and then another came in May. Talk about those. Uh, and then we have the Rise of Knights iOS game. Well, iOS and Android. Mobile game. There you go. Is it even on Android yet? No. I don't, yeah. It's we're get, we're getting there. So. It's slowly, three rings. Slowly but surely. It's the three rings circus. You have to wait a little bit. Onion rings. Sega. Onion rings. Sega. <laughs> Seagird. Like it would have been of all companies, it would have been Sega that acquired three rings with Sonic as their icon. I don't know. Gotta go fast. It's too convenient. Oh, and Sonic's currency is rings. I don't know. So, the Vanguard missions from February. Who cares about bumpers? I don't. Uh, I uh, love bumpers. Uh, are those bumpers uh, up to date still? I can bump. <laughs> they already are, but this entire thing is an overheard at Moorcroft Manor, so I don't care. This entire thing is just a thing now. How about that? Yeah, this is a talk show. We had to make we had to make a new bumper with blackjack and that <laughs> other thing. <laughs> the other thing. This is a PG thirteen podcast. See, I was on my way to talking about the Vanguard missions, and you just had to derail for us. We were the one who asked about note. bumpers. That's true. Well, I was just moving. <laughs> you are the you, you're the source, okay? You're, you, you, 
Yes. All right. So speaking of source, the first missions that we had, new missions, were breaking in the recruits, crimson chaos came from below. So those were what twelve, ten, one, fan yes. missions. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and they were. I mean, it took me a while. I had to look up pictures before I could remember what they were. Yeah. It, we wouldn't have to look up pictures if I'd actually remembered to stream it correctly. Huh. Yeah, we would have had a playthrough video. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, well, we did have a playthrough video. It just had everyone's voice but myself, so nothing made sense. Rip. Rip. Mm-hmm. But these, unlike the new ones, they were basically just Clockworks levels with story attached to them. Um, there was another. New, there was a new level set in one of the levels. Do you guys remember which one it was with the rocket blocks? Like um, the that, yeah, crystal the blocks that could set. only be blown yes. up by rockets. Yeah. Mm. I think that was Crimson Chaos. All right. It the was. Re- the rest of it was just stuff we've seen before. And I don't know. I didn't. Don't remember there being too much of a hullabaloo about it. Other than that, like Three Rings isn't dead. <laughs> there are stuff. updates. There are stories. Right. Yeah. This is going places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. And it leads into the ne- next set. Yeah. Though, there's one question. If they made more levels with, like, the rocket block quote unquote puzzles, like, would that be a good thing or not? It, I didn't actually play the levels personally. I honest. Oh, go ahead, Green. You had to, like, actually wait for the rockets to get to the place, and they're just a slow move. About as slow moving as they are in um, iron core munition, so they are the exact same. No, they're it, not. They're it different probably models. Probably kill speed running, but yeah. It. I suppose if you actually had to think creatively about it, then yeah. Hmm. I've never thought of Spiral Knights as much of a puzzle game, except for those mm-hmm. like levels that had like the six gates that come up, and you have to hit all the switches and figure out the right combination. And there are and... quite a few of those, though. That's true. Though, does anyone actually know how those work? Like, I just mash the switches until it works. I actually, um, uh, yeah. It's randomly generated to some extent where it, um, two gates are randomly connected to a yeah. switch. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. So it's basically RNG. You just smash switches. Yeah. It's... <laughs> or you try and think about it strategically and then realize you're going about it completely wrong. <laughs> That's true. Well, that's probably the best way to do it. Like, if, if there were a lot of levels like Crimson Chaos with rocket blocks, but they were static puzzles, like they never changed, eventually you just figure out the right thing to do. And it would not be very much of a puzzle. Mm, I don't right. know. Kind of like a, uh, a danger mission. At first it was like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Where do I go? But after a while it's just like, go here, go there, it's easy. Here's a key, mm-hmm. there's a key. And then you tried to sell it. And it was hell. Yeah, that was sad. Though we do have a gameplay video of, quote, Greenlink and I going through whatever the level is. Legion of Elmire. That was fun. That was three months ago. Possibly yeah. more. But if you want to watch it, you can do that. Anyways. Then we had more new Vanguard missions. I think that was the name of the forum thread. Exactly. More new Vanguard missions. Best title. More Vanguard missions. That came in May. And these were actually, like, my favorite missions to date, I think. I like them. I mean, so Flickering Flame, Shadow Play, Call to Arms, Dreams of Nightmares, Delve Too Deep. Probably don't remember some of those because... Is Flickering Flame a calm link mission, too? It one of them was, yeah. That was, yeah. I think that yes. was one of them. Yes, it is. Yeah, Flickering Flame is a calm link mission. There's, like, five missions here. Ten, two. And three of them are calm links. And then two of them... You actually play, except one of them you don't. You actually just walk around. So let's talk about them. So Shadow Play was the one that got teased for a while, and it's the one with like the icy firestorm citadel. Mm-hmm. And, and I then... actually liked it. Like it was cool that you got to play the levels that you had already played like literally five hundred times. Yeah. Through and... the history of Spiral Knights, and then it was different, and there were some environments where. You'd only seen things before, like the, the, the chain bridge that you could then walk across. <laughs> that was the best part. I thought that was yeah. cool. That they it just... was cool, actually. You could go cool through a familiar hour. environment and it being different. I like that. And they also reorganized all the levels. So like when you went across that chain bridge, you got to like depth 27, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. you like skipped an entire depth because of it. That was cool. I like that. 
Mm-hmm. And I the... also liked the names. Apparently, you're telling me that I like ha- hacked the game and named Blackstone Bridge Greenstone Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually Greenstone Bridge. <laughs> that was funny. Because that's what the level's called. Yeah. And then, whatever the Chard Court equivalent is, uh, they changed like they changed all the levels around it was like a danger mission in firestorm citadel i guess mm. i just thought it was fun again just to see a familiar environment in a different way yeah i think it was the epitome of what i was hoping for from different like difficulty levels initially where it was yeah. not just here it will give the enemies more health and more damage it was like here there's actually different enemies and more obstacles I know Glacius was Glacius would have a lot to say about that if he had to derail, <laughs> but let's not so <laughs> Alright. And then there's Dreams and Nightmare Wait, Shadow Play is the one where we fight the boss at the end? Yes. 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 The yeah. one that we repeatedly bashed into a corner. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> that that fight is it. totally cheesable, which is kinda sad. Because there's oh, a tight wait. two tight two. corners. Go ahead, clip. To be fair, it's even if it wasn't cheesable, it's a gremlin fight with gremlin AI. It wasn't going to be any different. <laughs> That's true. You can just keep him like perma stunned. Shadow weapons OP. And to be fair, you can also. I love you, Green. Thank you. Um, you can also cheese most of the bosses anyway in Small Knights because um. That's true. Even even the Romulus twins has a pattern that you can exploit where you can basically get a double hit on the rockets, and then they mm-hmm. can't move for like a long a decent amount of time. Well, I mean, yeah, I did that, and I killed it with a blitz needle. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely cheesable. Even the horror drones can actually be cheesed. To some extent, rather. Mm, the pre-buff uh, horror drones could probably be cheesed. I not mean, the current iteration. I'm not sure think. at what point you call it cheesing and what point it's just figuring out how to correctly play the fight as efficiently as possible. By well, cheating, sure. um, I mean the Toyo Drone handguns can actually be used to prevent the Toyo Drone from moving, so if you actually have a competent group, you can prevent it from moving at all. Okay, that's cheating. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. like the Romulus one where you just let the rockets go and like one fires and is stunned and then fires at the other one, that's just a really efficient like linking. Yeah, and that was intentional. Yeah, that's probably Slash a lucky. better description. And then, yeah, the gremlin. Well, I, the gremlin in shadow play though. Her- is it Herix? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Laura, please. <laughs> yes. Ninja. I has it's a gremlin AI, but who will actually like break out of stun and stuff and like jump around the platform. Mm-hmm. And so it wasn't completely cheesable unless you throw him in the corner at the top of the room. Yeah, it's not actually corner. in a far corner, like far left or far right. It's around the console where the artifact usually sits. The lower floor. Yeah, yeah or bring the winter grave because Maroka and I did that and we cheesed the fight so badly. How so? I... Uh, he shiver misted, I winter graved. That was the end of Herrick's. So he just can't move ever <laughs> until he dies. Yep. I brought all elemental gear and shadow. <laughs> shadow he brought weaponry. shadow weapons to fire, the Firestorm fire Citadel, and we were all like, "What are you doing? That's a terrible idea." And he was just like, "It'll be fun." And then Gremlin showed up at the end, and we were all had our <laughs> elemental weapons and were sad. And he's there with his shadow weapons, having a heyday. He said, I told you! I told you! <laughs> just like Warmaster Rocket Hammer, just repeatedly bashing. It's doing like forty damage. And he's there with his grand foss, like, I knew this would come in handy. <laughs> that one time. Uh-oh. The one time. That was good. So, some things never change. That right. is to say, boss, boss fights that are not impossible. Though actually, Spawn Ice has does have some fights that are impossible. Da- in what? danger missions. Name right. one. That's debatable. I guess. Name I know. Have you, have you ever done the last room in Legion of Elmire without dying? Yeah. I've soloed I've it, it, yeah. I've soloed it without dying. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm just bad then. Grinch Grinch right. Terrible. Last Grinch room is Grinch easy to solo. Okay. Last room without dying, I did it once, but never again, because it's so hard. Alright, can you do it without your attack speed UVs to keep things perma-stunned? Yes. Uh, yeah, I did it with bombs. Brandish. 
Oh my gosh. All right. I suck. I got it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm backing up. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag gamepad master race. I'm sorry, my bombs had attack speed. <laughs> <laughs> it's so useful, you can raise it above your head slightly faster. <laughs> In before Swift Strike Buckler Bombers. For that f frame lag removal. Actually, I I knew a guy who did that, and it was much more effective than it sounds. Wait, you, I mean, if you're placing a bomb every three seconds, and you skip ten frames every three seconds, I mean, that adds up. Yeah. Sure, why not? Alright, and then we have the Dreams and Nightmares level, which we played through, and if you haven't watched it yet, you can watch it on our YouTube channel. There'll be a link in the show notes. The geometry. And also, Button Mash Empire has videos on all of these missions. This, this is a guy. Yes, that's you, true. you know this guy? <laughs> you know this guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy's cousin? And in a different world, in a different time two years ago, we would have been very hyped. OMG, the core open, let's go play the levels. And they were good. Yeah. I mean, I don't they think cool. they were what we were expecting. The uh, only thing that bugs me is I really think it was just leftover content that they just kind of pushed out and call it new content. Well, what? We, we can pretty much confirm that because, like you said, you... you... You are a very naughty person, and you look through all these game files, and you found all these assets. <laughs> well, not <laughs> but even that, like... They put them in in a co coherent place, and made a level out of it. Yep. And that's I'm... an accomplishment, I guess. The thing I meant more or less, though, is about... I think the actual design of the levels were made before the actual patch. And they are you just saying have... this is a test level? No. Yeah, that's what I'm... you were saying, well, though. You were saying, yes. I bet this is the test environment that they just... Like you recognized it, right? I was talking about the um, the pots that you throw, or the because in the testing server, like I mentioned in the video, is the uh, artifact Herrick originally picks up is one of the pots you see in the core, like the crystal shaped thing. Yes, the thing that looks like the Eye of Fury accessory. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! How so... dare they reuse models? <laughs> <laughs> it's and... a pot. It's an accessory. It's a pot. <laughs> <laughs> What's that in the sky? It's a pot. <laughs> it's an accessory. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, you've probably all heard the story about how Super Mario Brothers uses the clouds as bushes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. But that's 19xx technology. Well, I don't Nick, I don't want to say Nick that. Wanted to, Nick wanted to write a love letter to, to some of the games that he used to like, so... That's true. Maybe I'll, it's completely it intentional. It. Well, I mean, obviously it's completely intentional. It's in the game. But it Prismatic was cool having switches bees. and... What's that, sorry? Prismatic bolted bees. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> that was intentional. Yeah. Okay, good point. I don't know. I don't try to judge Three Rings too hard. Unless they've done an <laughs> iOS game. <laughs> then no Fury Breaks loose. Yeah, that but we'll get, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I have it. Three Rings? I can't have a phone. <laughs> this episode is not all fun and daisies. Ooh. Actually, it might be. I don't know. There's also roses. Is there another rose regalia set? No. I wonder if that's actually armor in that one thing that we shouldn't be talking about yet because it's cut. We'll don't, talk about don't soon. Talk about later. <laughs> we'll get to it. Oh, do you mean slime rancher? Well, oh, oh yes. my god. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. still technically counts as derailing. Yes. But Nick made it. <laughs> <laughs> well. well Welcome to Round Em Up, episode one of the Slime Rancher podcast. We should do it! <laughs> Just do it! It's not even out yet. Maybe once it gets out, if it gains steam. Steam? Steam yes. release? Steam, steam green get, light? Get it, because Steam's a steam GUI. Green link? Steam's a platform that sells <laughs> games, and so the joke <laughs> is... Steam, comedia.com, slash lads and sclay, add me, I have no friends. Oh no! <laughs> Preferably if you have AI wars. It's a good point. Stop derailing me. You know what? I'll oh, take that it? bait. <laughs> okay, so let us continue on. What is the next thing we were going to talk about? Well, dreams and nightmares, I guess. What happens when you go past the core? All I remember about this is the oh, core yeah. part. Um, I you go... My... Oh, go ahead. So I just I'll can't let remember. You do it. Oh, um, basically, after... You reach the end of the level and you start to notice, hey, the people, remember the squad the, that existed, but we never found? Oh, but, oh that's right, yeah. yeah. 
the Alpha Squad. So yeah, one of them left the transmission for us in the form of a little Bell's Cry baby thing. I think that was Parmer. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, and so they left the message to us saying, oh, that we um, have this right here, but we're all doing okay except for the few people that died uh, from the past missions before. And so from there on, we head to Haven, and through the colonies, we just uh, mm. wait wait for another mission now. They did. But more importantly in the room, boxes. Boxes. Oh, yes. With radiance mm. inside. OMG. Not just radiance. Rubies. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong discussion. <laughs> oh. I think we're gonna get. The, I think he's trying to segue into Ruby Prize boxes. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah. I just wanted, it is a Zelda which game, right? One of these we can't have. Had put you in the unknown passage. Like all or of them were kind of in set? the unknown passage. In no, like one them it, literally made it you came from below. It. it came from below. The last mission of the yeah. first set had the unknown passage at the end. Yep. Yeah. As like a free training ground with really no point. No uh, payoff. Yeah, there's no payoff about reaching the end, but there's also no fee to enter. So I mean, that's something, right? There never Train. was a free fee to enter, though. Shadow 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 Key. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Gotcha. So in okay. case you were ever having trouble with your Shadow Lairs, you get a free one. Or you can just play Dreams and Nightmares because you end up playing basically an arena. There's also no real reason to run the, um, to be fair, like the unknown shadows because aside from money and radiance, the end game gear is, um, chaos um, master race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean it's great. The, the, <laughs> the statistically best gear is not found in the uh, shadow layers. Unless you, except, but the Snarvalax cap. But I, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's it has its uses. It's just like. You soldiers sell out. Places. <laughs> it loved you. And you just handed it off like a child. I, mean, I know. Does, well, does no, no one want the Ice Queen off. set? I actually used the Ice Queen set uh, for the pier my piercing defensive set. Um, Alright. But yeah. So, last thing I wanted to say about Dreams and Nightmares was I just liked how it looked. Because it was mm. pretty. Aside from the black <laughs> like void squares covering half your screen... Like, that was annoying, <laughs> and changing the quality of the game didn't get rid of them. But, like, how all the boxes and stuff were circles, and how the party button was, like, this oh. light thingy shouting off the ground, <laughs> and stuff. It was cool. Everything felt a little bit fuzzy. It was. What do you mean by fuzzy? There's a um, new there medium a called... Yeah, there's a filter that's been in... Um... Somewhere that I don't know or anything <laughs> for the last year or so that but recently showed up if you have medium quality or high quality enabled. And it makes the graphics a little bit more less sharp and more fuzzy? No, it's just a filter uh, for the uh, the, uh, the core skybox. levels. Yeah, the core, yeah. The core skybox has it because of I didn't know where. Oh, yes, I, mean, I know what you're talking fine. about. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like a very toned down uh, white noise on the television, if you were to mm -hmm. say. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like we're in a white space. <laughs> oh, get it? The theme of the song. Oh, yeah. Get, Speaking get it. of which, didn't it, like, use the last remaining unused music? Yeah, yes. it did. White Finally. space form? Mm-hmm. And Glacey's um, just like, turn up your music. It's playing the best song in the game. Yes, because it still is the best song. Because I've sent Harry Mack a message about it, and he told me about it. Oh, so, do you have a story? I've not heard um, this. I told, I said before, he said, um, I said, the music's really good, but I bought the song on Amazon and I realized that it doesn't play just the basic battle theme. I said, it's very interesting that there's an unused theme working on it, and if you could possibly maybe upload a higher quality of just the bell theme. <laughs> <laughs> and he says to go look on YouTube, but he also responded with the fact that when making the music, he wanted it to be a much more darker theme to the main theme mm. of, of sorts. Isn't it basically just like decrease the tempo of it or something? And Yeah. Do, 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 so in other words, reverse Nightcore without the anime girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. You know, like those, it's like those fast paced FPS shooter games you play, except it's slower. And without guns. 
Wait, Wait what? Gun. So, Dear Esther. Oh. Yeah, Dear Esther. It's like a fast-paced FPS game. <laughs> Without the guns. <laughs> or the fast-paced part. Where's the giant explosions, though? Alright. Nah, he... So, back to Solotron's transition, then. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You wasted it. You, waste, you wasted my time. Okay. Screw the $5 SFX. We didn't blow the entire budget on it. We have sound effects. Oh yeah, we haven't made an episode in a year. Like, how much money do we have on sound effects now? Are we? Did, did, did uh, we get enough cents. swag bucks for it? We 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 got six dollars worth of extra sound effects, and so we made an additional one dollar. Hey, if you guys want to make some good money, my swag bucks referral link will also be. <laughs> but he gets money off of it. Don't but, do it. If wait, anything, wait. do mine. Mine's more legit. The show is now sponsored by Coca-Cola. I'm gonna count to you how much we have in our sound effect department. We have five cents. Yay, dang it, you you blew it up! So, you what really you're saying blew is it up. that we can play the lockbox sound effect for a hundredth of the time that it, it lasts. Yes. yes. Except the problem is that the first two seconds and the last second of the sound effect don't actually have sound. There's like buffering. Oh, so we get to hear the buffer. So, yeah, here, play the sound solo. Okay. I didn't expect No, no, just, shh, no, shh. Quiet. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you. Good. Oh. All right, it sounded good. <laughs> wow, it. it reminds me of the ballad of Richard Nixon. <laughs> it was so beautiful. All right, real your prize boxes. Who wants to read the description that they posted? Because it was kind of funny. Rain for razzle dazzle. Ready to roll. You're ruining it. it. <laughs> and ready solo, to solo. Correct. Will you read this? Okay. <laughs> ready for razzle dazzle, ready to rock, relook the rags and render arrivals wrecked. We rally, raffle, and rap and rap it for movie prize boxes with items on the fine roster. Deuces. <laughs> Deuces. Bro. So basically, we get ruby accessories that it ends today, apparently. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Dang it, so. Link. Why didn't you give us these rubies earlier? One could call it an eclipse of rubies. Yes. Hey. hey! Rest in peace, you will be missed. Actually, right Ruby's, <laughs> actually, Ruby's like back in at Sega. Did you? Did you, any of you actually get? No, none of you played Final Nights anymore. Just me. <laughs> I played Final Nights, kind of, not real. I played Final Nights I, a couple of minutes. I mean, like a day ago. To, I managed to get the Ruby Crown. Nice. Can I have it? I'll pay it. I'll pay. I already put it on. Unless you want to pay me for the. Dismantle. <laughs> I'll just you, buy solo. Did you spend solo. How much are you worth? I'm worth more than medicine. Oh, oh yeah? Can you compete <laughs> with, with my person. sprinkle aura and my extra short height modifier? Oh, I thought you were gonna say about your prismatic topper hat. Oh yeah, that. Was, that has yeah, unlimited that's value. <laughs> that has unlimited value. Except no, they put it in a prize box. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so betrayed. <laughs> I spent 40 hours on a typography. And I put it on the internet, and it's our most viewed video. And then right next to April Fools. Oh yeah, no, sorry. How to get unlimited eternal orbs of alchemy clickbait is number one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. One, one one thing about that though, I'm still getting mail about that as to how to do that. <laughs> I wish I were kidding. The orders nice. only work on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Beautiful. I still get people still post on the YouTube on the uh, video itself. Say it's not working. Oh yeah. <laughs> I should go and help them. And only one comment out of like the two hundred of them has identified correctly what we did. And I was surprised. Yes. I'm like, wow, a commenter actually figured it out. But only one. Other people have had other guesses that they were wrong. You can listen like, to the Arsenal podcast. I won't tell you which episode it's in, but go listen to like a. a Five, four hundred plus hours or so. Yeah, and you'll hear how we did it. Yeah, probably less than four hundred, but yeah. And donate one dollar for every minute you listen <laughs> to Me? Spiral Lights charity event. Yeah, or which, yeah, which has in a prismatic vaulted V fund. <laughs> uh, I still have like seventeen of those, I think. Or or Clockworks for charity. That's another good one. Oh wow. Yeah, D doesn't Baroka still technically have a stretch goal up? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. he does. In before, give me community costume. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback Tuesday. Uh, 
yeah. Bye. All right. And now that we've lost all of our listeners, let's talk about the thing that actually matters. Okay. Rise of Night. Rise of Night. Hang on. Let me take. Let me put on my monocle and my top hat really quick. Why? He's gonna be gentleman Why not? again. Gentleman Noir. Seriously? Okay. Why not? Would oh, you no. not want to? Why? Think about it. Why, um, did, why do you have a monocle? Is this the deuciest of games? <laughs> <laughs> it's the deuciest monocle of them all. I don't understand. Me neither. Yeah. I All don't right. know what the deuce you're talking about. <laughs> I don't either. So, Rise of Nights is a game for mobile devices, currently only on iOS, in Canada, and it is a spiritual successor, but not a sequel to Spiral Nights. It's not a full game yet. We're in version 0.7. So, I mean, if it's not evidence, if you haven't tried it, and the fact that it crashes every 10 seconds after opening it, like, full game, guys. Let's go. Do it. So we got a ways to go, some stability patches, right? But it is just that it's an iOS game, and they have a 15-minute quote-unquote trailer, which is a it's a gameplay trailer basically. Actually, um, I meant to say that it actually isn't an official trailer. That's just a trailer from the uh, YouTuber. I've checked a previous works, and when they say trailer, they mean more or less here. Let me show you what this game looks like. Because it's basically like what Morocco does without commentary, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. So there's your sample. Yes. So if you want to know what it looks like, we got a 15-minute video for you. It'll be in the uh, show notes. Sir Jinxable has a trailer that he put out, too. It kind of explains a little bit more of what's going on. He edits things very fast. Oh, yeah. He I put did. it out within, like, two hours of the game being announced. This trailer. And it's very, very well done. It is. Check it out. Link in the show notes. Or the description. Whatever. Right. So, so should we what? talk about what it's about? Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Okay, so Spawn Knights, Rise of Knights, um, is basically a strategic and action-based mobile game. You don't really run around like Spawn Knights. You don't button smash. Button mash everywhere. But instead, you have the... You have a finger scrolling um gameplay sort of like another sega game called Ch chain chronicles um just with sega with spiral knights pastor all over it lane based combat wow it's innovation it's a chain it's a grid rpg if i recall that's what it's called and so if you <laughs> sell me and us and looked at the at what the description of the uh the thing is on the on the iTunes page, where you can download it, and it says, Be the best, not the luckiest, and make your knights, teams, and strategies your own. This isn't your standard fantasy game. But there are no crowns. No coins. No <coughs> crowns. The currency is crowns, not coins. I will rage. <laughs> I hate I hate everything ever. I will boycott <laughs> this game until they rename it crowns. Please. Um, so this is, this is the kind of thing where you play fight monsters get monies get monies to make your knight better with lots and lots of gear that will eventually be implemented and then take that gear to new worlds and use those to fight more monsters and as far as i can tell it's there's just different classes of enemies that you position on the grid and the enemies walk at you from right to, or from left to right down the lane and then you just position your knights to intercept the monsters and then they will kill them. That's so it. then it's a tower defense RTS type of thing? It's not tower defense. You never it's... well, you're kinda of defending the edge of the screen, whatever it is over <laughs> there. So... It's like a grid RPG what like I said, I think that's what people are calling it. I don't know what the genre yeah. is. So you you have like knights and you're they're literally just killing the enemies that walk towards them? Yeah. It, it's, yeah. Maybe a, a comparison would be something like Imagine Plants vs Zombies. But you just had three pea shooters that you could move along the back row. And you removed so... all the fun from the game. <laughs> Not the fun. So the zombie starts walking up the top lane, but you don't have a pea shooter there, so you drag one from lane four up to lane one, and now it's shooting it. Yes. And then you just do that. And there's yeah. it looks like there's supposed to be special abilities and stuff like that. Um that'll affect the lanes. However, 
Like, there's only three lanes, so it's not like there's that much you can do. Right, and... Three lanes? Uh, That's uh, almost uh, like another game we... <laughs> no, oh, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Aside from moving just up and down from each lane, you can move uh, the second lane knights up forward so you can get, like, a better... Uh, for the melee people, for the melee knights going ahead, well, your standard gunners and long range attackers yeah. stay behind. So you have a few ranks of combat that you can. They're not all on one line; they're on two or three. But that's basically it, and it's not innovating on anything at the moment. And right. as far as we can tell, it's not going to. It's just Maybe. another game that's reusing mechanics that have already been made. And just, just with Final Nights on it. Yeah. And it's so. not like the combat is very intensive. I don't know. I've been I, struggling with this ever since I watched the gameplay trailer. And I, I talked to some of the guys about this. And I'll bring uh -huh. it up here. Is What is it that's going to make anyone come back to the game? Uh, like, regardless of whether it's a mobile gamer or a Spiral Knights person who wants to try the new Sega Three Rings game with Spiral Knights paint on it, it's uh -huh. like the combat doesn't do anything super special. Is it just I, like the unlocks that are gonna? That's the only thing that I can think of. I it's think like, so. in the sense that Plants vs Zombies is just you play the same level over and over again. You just see occasionally a new enemy and you mm -hmm. get a new like plant a new weapon quote unquote right. is that gonna be enough for this considering there's less strategy less difficulty less intensive gameplay mm -hmm. no no resource Actually, management i'm saying like strip it of all of the equation like equating it to plants versus zombies it's a three lane drag and drop and the enemies just get harder and your gear gets harder and that's it well, I mean, as someone who has never touched mobile games, I really don't see the appeal of them, so I can't say anything either way. I don't know what draws people to them, is what I... Yeah. The reason why uh, mobile It just feels games... like a lot of games out there are just car carbon copies of another with just, like, di different coats of paint, and... Ugh. I just wonder if that's enough. Uh, if I may interject... I'm of the opinion that no, it's not. It's just going to become another small community of its own that's going to be bustling for a little bit. And then it'll just slowly die out into irrelevance because, well, it's a mobile game. They always do that. Do you remember Flappy Bird? When was the last time you heard about Flappy Bird? Just now. That did get taken off the App Store. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I, so well, I mean, like, aside from like, the 50 clones that are now up there, Flappy Fish. I think is the most popular one right now. Flappy which is a squirrel. carbon copy, as Green said. But, yeah, that's it. Like, there has to be some addictive factor that brings people back to mobile games, right? And this game yeah. has some of that stuff. It has, like, energy... Like, you have to... They have a missed energy equivalent where it, ta you, it costs you energy to play a level, and once you run out of energy, you have to wait till later so that you can regenerate that energy and play more levels. One hour. The question is, do I want to play those levels? Because this gameplay isn't engaging in any way, as far as I can tell. Not yet. Yeah. What, it, awesome music. Awesome. <laughs> if, if they add, like, special abilities and st or strategy or something. Actually, um, from what I've experienced, there is um, some kind of special abilities, because a lot of the knights now actually have abilities, so you can customize them to some extent. All right. And along with the fact that the charges aren't just basic charges, like for some, like the one you saw from the gameplay was that the the uh, fire spitter or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. did like a combustion charge. But I had a knight with a, uh, I think it was a thwack hammer, and um, the, it could only used to be used in close proximity of an enemy. All right. And yeah, so it's just more than just it's. I can see it being where there may be a bit more later on in the game, but from what I played, aside from the crashing, you know, lots of crashing, yeah, plenty of crashing. <laughs> the early levels, I don't see it, but possibly later levels, I can actually see some kind of strategic placement. Right, where you might actually lose the level if you don't, 
like plan for the specific level yes. and Ooh. use the abilities at the right time and stuff. Yeah, right. and it's, it's totally likely. Like, I hope that that's what's already there, yeah. like either in the works or already in the game right now, and no one can yeah. just get to it because it's too laggy mm. or crashy. I but... mean, we we can give it the benefit of the doubt because it is only not version not point seven, like you said. Mm -hmm. But judging from past experiences. We have also seen content tested and then not touched for a year and eventually released. I'm looking at you, Gunner Update. It's true. <laughs> that really grinds my gears. Released right? with no changes. <laughs> so I am hesitantly optimistic. I do have a couple of quote unquote toilet games on my iPhone that are just similar to this. You know, that it's, it's just one of those things that you just play a level here or there and there is something that keeps you coming back to it whether okay. it's like here's a daily reward here's a new piece of gear that's stronger than the one you used to have here's a challenging level that you failed to beat two times in the past try again and no it's not candy crush but <laughs> <laughs> like those are the kinds of things that are in other popular mobile games that keep you coming back right right and we need some stuff like that here and some of that is but some of it isn't so if we get it, fantastic. We're, we're on the right path. But then there becomes the issue of people who pick up the game and just go, oh, this is just another mobile game that does the thing that all mobile games do. I don't care about this at all. But that's like every other mobile game, isn't it? Like, I know some mobile games have their own thing to, to specific people, their own demographic. Yeah. Right, but, and some people will only go for those games that aim for certain demographics rather than the ones that are supposed to be addicting because there are many people out there who don't consider those games actual games and would much rather refer to them as just rubbish. So theoretically, though, th these kinds of people, why would they be looking on said app store in the first place? Because they have a phone. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, this is like... In, in this discussion, um, it's mostly we consider mobile gaming as like something casual. Yeah. For people that actually just do it on their pastime. And whether it's addicting or not, it just like. Filthy casual. Filthy <laughs> <laughs> casual. It's like and the so, most. It's true. That's a good point, yeah. too. Yeah, the most hardcore you can get is like that person who has 70 iPads. And runs them all playing Clash of Clans, and he just runs yeah. his own clan, playing isn't, all seventy iPads. Isn't there like one mobile for like uh, I touch devices though? Yes, there are several. Yeah. There are, are some good really terrible. Okay. There are some good mobile games to be fair. Like yeah. even on my phone, I have uh, Rayman Fiesta Run, which is actually really good. It's but not isn't an endless runner. No, it's oh, not. It's okay. a platformer. Cool. That's why <laughs> I actually enjoy it. I think. Because it's not just an endless runner, it's literally just a platformer. Cool. Yeah, but it's not to say mobile mobile gaming is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> but you gotta do it right to rise above the rest because there's rise above the knights. It does. But the rise of the Rise of that. knights! Stay on rise. topic! <laughs> Rise of Knights now also has to compete with Hearthstone, which is on mobile. Yeah, and as yeah, we yeah. all know, Hearthstone oh. has its own huge community. But yeah, you also be fair, bit... Hearthstone's in a completely different genre than that's Rise true. of Knights. It's not, it's yeah. not like I'm... Ex hey, Three Rings, and make the next number one bestseller app. <laughs> but I, what I just don't want to see is a game that just copies other things and, like Surging says, has just another splash of Spiral Knights paint on it. And... Then, New like Sky says, it just kind of people see it, and then they uninstall it and delete it, and then eventually just doesn't have that many people playing it anymore. And New that's game it. from Three Rings, Barrel Birds. I mean, like, <laughs> if, if we want to make a, make a comparison, like, has anyone heard about Pokemon Shuffle at all? You know that yes. one puzzle game that they had for 3DS, and they're like oh, porting yeah. it to the iOS. Yep. Yeah. I've, I've, I've only played a little bit of it. it. It seems decent enough. Like I can see where there would be appeal. It's just like, hmm. it's just... like I, I'm just trying to say, you've got to add a different mechanic or something to make it worth 
um, playing, and it seems like it has a couple of those. Well, it has to, well, for Pokemon Shop, I kind of looked at it too, and it's like, it has Pokemon in there, so it satisfies the Pokemon fan base just a bit until yeah. they realize it's not Pokemon, and it's like a puzzle game, and then they'd be like, mm, I'll still try it just because I'm a fan of it. And so, then... what, so what I'm saying is, you include familiar, um, like, aesthetics or characters right. to draw people in initially, and then yeah. you bring innovative changes to keep them in. Right. It's like there's, a me there's a mechanic here that I've never seen before, mm. or that or is interesting. Place. In that ca in Pokemon Shuffle's case, it would be this mega evolution gauge that basically acts as a fever. And for. <laughs> Rise of Knights, it'll probably be the mass amount of knights in gear and the fact that you can make like a lot of combinations of them. Right. And especially Oh. I was gonna say, especially including the fact that a lot of the older prize box uh, armory is now actual armory in the game. Oh yeah, so there's like more the stuff. Yes. The cosmetics. With the stats. cosmetics are armors. Yes. Yes. So that's cool. So let's just move on to that then. So they've promised for the future. If it's not already in now, we honestly, again, don't know too much about what's beyond the first few levels of the game because no one can get that far. I made it to 133. In before crashes. <laughs> and there's like eight worlds, right? Yeah. Yeah. So far. And we can't get that far. But not relax. Supposedly, and I don't assume they're lying on their iTunes page. I hope not. That would be bad. Oh we got over 300 battles in the in the map world and weekly events whatever that's going to be but those are things that we should have so there's content for now mm -hmm. and they promise they said on their page endless combinations of knights and weapons Bird. i'm going to say virtually because you can't <laughs> actually have endless if you can actually have endless like if you have a customizer or something like that where it's literally endless then your like interesting points just went up like a lot yeah i don't know more options is better for again them. don't know what all the stuff is that they're gonna have there yet because no one can get into it yet yes we're just talking also, about what we've seen because also at this point we should probably mention that someone the glaciers is actually the only one of us who's played this game as opposed to oh, the rest it. of us are just going off the trailer and what we have read about it. Mm -hmm. true. Good point. Because I was also about to say on, on, I can actually kind of see the three hundred battles. I haven't seen any weekly events, but I have seen daily events. So like daily huh? quests, kind of thing. Or... Yeah, I. Um, uh, what's, there's one game like. Uh, well, for example, like, from what I saw before it crashed, because I tried to do it, and then it kept on crashing every time I tried to access it, there was three, four, one was to get a piece of equipment, weaponry, which is was an electric dracon. Um, Whoa, was, electric dracon. I know, so unique, isn't it? Um, I think that there was one for coins. <laughs> <laughs> Just call him Crown so that you don't get angry and get triggered and we have to give you your medication again. <laughs> and then there was gems, and I don't exactly know gems. how... Gems. <laughs> this isn't that outrageous. Anyway. Um, there were three difficulties, and, but and I assume if it goes off of the general basis of most mobile games... Um, if you play, for example, the Elite version of the Daily Mission, you'll probably get much higher tier stuff than if you were to play normal, or, you know. Right. But That's if you fun. can't survive it, you'll just, or if you don't have the right gear for it, you'll just get slaughtered. Yeah. And it costs 7 energy to enter the highest tier, so you're wasting energy. Because it crashes. If that's how they do it, that would be, like, fantastic for replayability, I think. Like, with the basic starter gear, you have to play everything on easy. Right, but then as you yeah. get better gear and you reach world eight on easy, you now have enough gold or enough gold gear to play like the first world again on normal. Like if that's how they do it, and they have you play through the game like three times like that, like that'd be cool. Hmm. That would be a fun mechanic. What that's I'm afraid I'm of is the Spiral Knights implementation of it. Here, they just have a little <laughs> bit more health. There, now it takes you a little longer to beat the level, and you just play whichever difficulty you want, and you get a better high score. 
like or this or the scaling is terrible like here you have, you have this tier 3 gear equipped in tier 1 uh, well now you can stand on spikes for literally 30 seconds and not <laughs> oh die oh my god so i'm if they do it like the way you're describing like where the rewards are higher but the literal difficulty is higher and it outscales like base gear like that would be fantastic i actually could see that happening if they do it like Spiral Knights' implementation, then sad panda. That kind of Didn't Nick, speaking of which, didn't Nick promised something along the lines of that Elite and uh, Advanced currently are in the works still, and that what they did release was just part one of something? The and that they were gonna... Yeah, and that mm -hmm. Advanced and Elite would actually serve as a diff completely different feature than just being a harder difficulty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean we're like... waiting on a bunch of stuff still for Spiral Knights. Challenge mode. H2O, yeah. dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> Which is apparently in this iOS game, but let's not talk about that. Well, I mean, it is. Like, the H2O like, levels are appear to be in this game. Right. All right, I let's suppose. talk about that, actually, because Eurydice on the forums has commented about the relationship between Rise of Knights and Spiral Knights. Rise of Knights takes place in the Spiral Knights universe, but at different points in time. And if you want to get really nitpicky, I'm assuming before since the Knights in Rise of Knights only have, like, basic weapons, like, technology, and they can only slide up, down, left, or right, just a little bit, and they don't <laughs> have open-world capabilities, and they can only look from right to left, and, <laughs> I don't know, they, they seem like more primitive creatures, so probably before, who knows. Right. But well, what about the whole thing about, like, the basically core exploit or something like that? I, mean, I don't know. If we want to get technical here, it's... It, it, it's a parallel universe. Yeah, it's a parallel and universe. Actually, I wonder if... It, you know what it could actually mean? What if there's more than one cradle? If there is, I don't... If what? If, if it is, maybe that's our home planet that was back in the regular Sparrow Knights. And the, we, we made it to a new... A new <laughs> core. The thing that Eurydice was saying was that this game is not supposed to be... It, well, she said for sure, flat out, it's not a sequel to SK. Yeah, it's just it's set in the same universe. It's set in, in the same universe. There's period. not supposed to be parallels, per se, between right. Sparrow Knights and, and Rise of Knights. If there's any lore in Rise of Knights, it is completely separate from that of Sparrow Knights. They're separate things. Mm. They're, 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 not, they're not supposed to contradict each other. They're not supposed yeah. to contradict or interact, I mm -hmm. think, right. at all. It's, it, a, it's just a separate, different game with a familiar-looking world. That's questions? kind of like, Yeah. Didn't you say something about an Owlite? Yeah, the main character, which uh, is actually linked in the fan art, which will be our deuces, art deuces. We'll, we'll look at the, <laughs> that in a second. Great, yeah, Greywell is, from my understanding, an Owlite. However, it's not actually confirmed he is one, but from his design perspective, he I'm pretty sure he is one. Okay. It's ne it's kind of like it's never mentioned, but just the way he looks, and unless it's just kind of a coincidence. So these are the only real parallels that can be drawn from anything. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's just only. consider it a separate, a completely separate game. It's like, it's again, it's the thing like, so you can play Super Mario World, right? And Mario okay. is trying to fight Bowser. Or they can go and have a friendly cart race for no reason, or a party, you know. But like, what if there's a death threat and they have to race because they only have to stay? They have to stay no, above a certain mark. See, See that 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 is for the Mario forums for people to like <laughs> spin off. But that's not the intended point, right? Yeah. This is the same thing here. This is not. There's no intentions for connections, right. and yeah, it's not a sure, sequel or a I'm prequel. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Three Weeks didn't like go that far ahead as to like make connections between. Rise of Knights and Spiral Knights. Yeah. They just wanted to make another Spiral Knights game. Well, I mean, one thing that is possible is they could have some sort of tie-in promotion. That would, that's Knights. possible. Act and they also but actually just said that it's, not... it's not canon, as people would say. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing like when Spiral Knights launched on Steam, TF2, Team Fortress 2 had a promotion where if you played Spiral Knights, Knights, you get a hat in Team Fortress 2. That doesn't mean Spiral Knights are in Team Fortress 2. Actually, they kind Even of are. They they kind of oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like you had this letter from Saxton Hale and everything. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, like, bad bad example. Never cannon. mind. I like how we got tech tales tales from the Sonic promotion. Yeah, or but it's a metal Sonic suit. Yeah, it doesn't mean that Sonic the Hedgehog and Spiral Knights <laughs> exist in the same universe. Like Lacey says, Clint Eastwood is in Spiral Knights. 
<laughs> but think about it, like... No, stop! Wait, I'm not wait, going wait, to wait, think wait, about it! No, no. Basically, we're not uh, going to think about uh, it. My, in my original fanfiction... No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about PewDiePie and Cry, like, doing each other, okay? Like, leave what? it out of this podcast, please. So, this game is less intended to draw... It's, le it's not necessarily intended to say, Hey, SK players, there's a new Spiral Knights game. Pick up your mobile device, let's go. It's primary intent is to appeal to the mobile gamers and possibly help them discover SK if like they like the aesthetic. Hmm, I like this game. What else have the developers made? Ooh, here's a game called Spiral Knights. Let me try that. That's the direction it's supposed to be going. Rise of Knights oh. into Spiral Knights. Not necessarily Spiral Knights into Rise of Knights. So don't go on a witch hunt, which I've seen some people already doing. Rise of Knights isn't like Spiral Knights. I can't transfer my Spiral Knights Knight to Rise of Like seriously? <laughs> it's, first of all, not the direction it's supposed to be going. They're not games aren't li the, no, on and on it. Just no, wanted no, no. to make that point. The oh, it's to the point there, though. The problem is I don't see there being much turnover that way. I don't think that many people are going to find Rise of Knights and then go to Spiral Knights because one, there's nothing to actually draw them to Spiral Knights. And two, as we've already said, we don't see much reason for them to be enjoying Rise of Knights in the first place, let alone want more of things like it. Well, and that's more or less my opinion as well. Well, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Uh, right. Well, you also have to figure that there's currently, with it being still in quote-unquote development, because it is still version 0 0.7, that you have to remember that there's no current advertisement for it outside of just that one article that someone posted. Sega mm -hmm. doesn't have anything on their official site at all about the game. That's true. And not yeah. to say that Sp that Rise of Nights is like Hearthstone, because it's not, but just as an equivalent. Hearthstone, the iPhone app, has TV ads, in addition to the, like, the Google AdSense ads that it has that I see all over the place. Right. But it's on television, playing for like major networks, sports networks I've seen it on, news networks I've seen it on. So it's like... If you want to talk about number one best-selling app, what are it has like television ads and web ads, just to back up Glacies, this game is not in version one yet, and no one's supposed to know about it. Like even when someone posted about it in the forums, Zero Disease said, like it looks like you've discovered our new game. I mean, Sega posted a blog post about it, but it's not a game that's like we're Out ramped there. up and ready to go. We're revving our engines. Tell your friends, let's go. It's right. a game that crashes every 15 seconds, and they're saying, hold on, we're still working on this one. Yeah. Right, so, well, I mean, I, I gotta run. You guys talk this out. Don't get too off topic. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Right. So, yeah, right now, it's just uh, in the beginning stages. Mm -hmm. All we can do now is wait and possibly test it out a little until they fix the bug crashes. And... If we want to, like I might do, I might show it off to other people and tell them about it. Yeah, if possible. That's what I do. I mean, yeah. That's what that's what I already did. That's that's all all good and all, but I mean, <laughs> the, pes the pessimist in me wants to believe that Sega has forced this upon Three Rings because, like, I don't know if you've heard the story recently about how they let off a bunch of their staff members and then they said that they were going to shift the focus from console games to mobile gaming. Right. And. The there would be very little development on consoles and stuff and but to be fair pc by consoles don't forget that they're also referring to playstation 4 kind of deal not the pc or anything i know but they've yet to but prove just... otherwise because literally yeah. all they've had on pc is ports so we will wait and we will see yeah that's the most we can only do on this last mobile game aspect of this to talk about is premium currency microtransactions hey oh boy, how to make play. or break a game on a mobile device our oh. premium currency is called gem gems outrageous <laughs> um, <laughs> and you can recruit high level knights for gems the mechanic is is it's a there's these randomly generated knights with i assume randomly generated stats for hire yeah with yep. higher star knights having higher star uh, yeah. stats. Higher, yeah, right. higher stats. Ugh. And you purchase the highest level ones with gems. Outrageous. Um, and you can buy, you start with, what, 200 gems? Yeah. And to purchase a recruit 
costs like with gems costs 240 gems so the, the starting amount isn't enough to get you the the primary content you have an in-game shop that sells like weapons and recruits that you can buy and that cycles with new stuff every three hours or you can reset it instantly for 30 gems if you want and those seem to be your two uses for gems a higher cost for recruiting your good knights or oh. cycling your store actually there's one more use for gems too which is also yeah if you die it's like 40 gems to restart the level all right to restart it the whole thing or restart from where you were sorry oh okay though if That'd you restart awesome. it i assume you pay the energy cost yes all right. oh that then it's not worth and it's three to... energy for each level you have to pay gems to pay energy no, it no. Doesn't pay, no, no, no. Either just... so, say so you play a level, I get eighty percent through, and then I die. Right? I could pay forty gems and pick up eighty percent in, or I could like say, like resign or quit or whatever. It'll take me back to the menu, and if I want to play that level again, I have to select it and say I'm gonna pay three energy to restart the level. Okay. Just like normal. Right. So missed energy. Yeah. Yes. Microtransactions yeah. start at six bucks, and go all the way up to one hundred and twenty bucks. And I will have never fun. understand why they have that option <laughs> other than for the six-year-old that gets mommy's iPhone and presses the button because the mom hasn't turned off in-game app purchases. Otherwise, Don't who's going to do that? Wow. Who's going to buy an app that just says I have lots of money? I'm going to spend that. $100 on CE. I oh, have white a... people do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, just, but the thing with gems are, these are just to purchase... Besides the level restarting, you can purchase high level knights. So, if getting to high level, uh, how much does it cost to get one three star knight? Like how many? It's from three star to uh two thirty five. Two thirty five. So, a hundred and twenty. How much does one hundred twenty give you? Um, nine thousand. Is it? Yeah, nine thousand gems. So you could buy a lot of knights. You could, but why would you need that many knights if you can only fit six on the board? Because each, um, actually, you can only fit five of your own knights on the board. The sixth one is always you have to recruit someone from your quote-unquote friends list that doesn't actually exist. Yeah. Yeah. It shows with random players, or you can have your friends join you. But the one slot is always taken for a friend unless they change that. I don't mm. know. It just seems uh, kind of... Uh wonky well. that they have that i've got i've got a ios game this isn't as much like the rise of knights podcast like podcast episode this is more like the let's analyze mobile gaming podcast right actually never mind i'm not going to go there i'm going to talk about <laughs> other games um as per a lot of other mobile games this one has daily login bonuses so i assume they give you crowns or gear if you log in points thank you very much points. <laughs> wow are, are you going to be triggered either way Yes. <laughs> That's what the internet works, crowns. Remember? It's coins. That's what it says in the game. Coins. It should be crowns. What? Uh, and you do, again, play levels at the cost of energy, and then you regen that energy over an hour. So you could play a lot if you wanted to. I think it's like 30 energy or 20. When I feel uh, emptied my energy because of the fact that every time you crash, it doesn't actually ask you, do you want to pro continue your level that you were at? It resets the entire thing. I mean, yeah, that's just a result of the crash, and it doesn't remember that yeah, you started Yeah, that too. There. But it uses your energy, and when I used all the energy, which you start out with 20, um, it took it said something like, I think, an hour and 10 minutes to refresh 30 energy. All right. There's also apparently a global level, I just remembered. A global? Yeah, you get XP for completing um, the missions and or levels, whatever you want to call them. Uh -huh. And your knights get levels, but you yourself also get levels. The more levels you get, um, the more energy you get. To use. Oh, nice. oh, I get it. Okay. There you go. But it'll also take longer for your bar to fill up. If yes. you use it all. But you can play for longer in a sitting. Yes. All right. Okay. Just... And there you. that's most of the mechanics of Rise of Knights. I am, again, oh. hesitantly optimistic. I'm not like this game is a failure. <laughs> yet. Yes. What if we get to version one point X and we're and we're looking at the same kind of game we have here, then we'll we'll, we'll turn sour. 
But I want <laughs> to see this game succeed because I like Three Rings. Um, it's just yeah. not there yet. And I know it's not supposed to be there yet, but just the way, like the basic mechanics of the game are not enough to intrigue me. So keep adding stuff, keep changing would they, things. Would they have like a suggestion box like they had with the beta of Final Nights? Um, you know what? Yuri, Yuri's <laughs> actually talking about doing that. Yeah, we... They should have a suggestion box so that we can have our input on it so that version one would come out at least prompt enough to have people get interested in the game right and we'll probably build a bigger community than Final Nights. Right. And that would use. however require us require them releasing the game in not Canada so that we wouldn't have to pretend we're in Canada like places <laughs> to play okay, it. Just, I am right, Canadian A. Right now they're just fixing <laughs> Once the bug issues, like the crashes are done, they'll probably release it out of Canada and then have us do the suggestions before the actual 1.0 version comes out. Yeah. And then they'll start advertising and such. If the theory actually gets her way, because if they do things in traditional S3 uh, ring slash Sega fashion, they'll just not do that. And they'll just release version 1 everywhere. Because it's not really like them to release a a pre-release version for everyone especially not of a especially mobile on game. ios yeah yeah it's not like mobile games have all of their like every individual mobile game like has their own like forum and website and all this stuff and it's right. generally a smaller scale oh my gosh there'll be a wiki oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> there'll be a wiki <laughs> we about... does love his wikis oh yeah uh, Eurydice has gone so far at this point because people are posting about it on the Sparrow Knights forums to create a new sub forum or possibly a new forum altogether for Rise of Knights so as not to clutter the Spiral Knights forums. Right. So we are anticipating that. She's offered, she's like, how about I make another forum so we stop cluttering this place up? And yes. so we'll be looking for that. That may be where we get or don't get an opportunity to suggest suggestions. I would not be surprised if it ends up not as its own forum. Like, there won't be forums.riseofnights.com. I assume it will be either on the Sega forums or maybe on the Spiral Knights forums. Mobile. I don't Dot doubt it. Mobile.spiralknights.com. <laughs> but it's a, as a sub-forum as opposed to a, an entire forum to itself. There's not that much to talk about. for. I would actually imagine that it would probably do what um, Record Keeper does. And there's... Uh, this, it's kind of a mix of a wiki and a forum together, in which case yeah. you can check up information on the game, but there's also like a small little mini forum like, help me, I'm stuck here, yada yada yeah. yada. Yeah. Yuri did say, quote, ROK will have its own social media channels and so on, so as not to clutter up SKs. Yeah. So I doubt it will be directly part of the SK forums. Well, I mean, it could be part of the SK forums, but I think what they're saying by social media is like, Twi another Twitter handle and a Facebook page. Yeah. As far as I can tell, they want to dissociate count. Rock from SK. So I I'd be with Clipic. It's probably a new forum somewhere. But Over I don't know if a forum at all. It doesn't. Yeah. Exactly. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. <laughs> they have a new game, and that's all that matters. And it could mean something bright for the future of Spiral Knights. Basically, or something that's a depressing reminder of yes. what we have been lacking. <laughs> I don't yes. think it actually does anything for the future of Spiral Knights, though. Which is kind of related to what I was talking about before. But it's not... There's no way this game will benefit Spiral Knights. Except possibly increase the player count by... By, this, like, extremely small amount. A small number 5 the scale of the game. Right. Hey, that's 5% more prize boxes being purchased. Yes, <laughs> and if that 5% more prize boxes being purchased means 5% more new content. Or as no, as unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. I know it doesn't. Otherwise, I'd be buying the heck out of prize boxes. I had to explain this. When I was uh, I finished downloading the game and it was uh, launched it, there was this text bubble and it was like, um, what was it, Green? What did you say? It was about the update on the Rise of Knights oh, thing that I got. Get, at getting the... new new content is coming. Zero percent. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Rip. I might be reading too much into a loading bar, but <laughs> well, I mean, by the end, it said new content coming 100%. Yeah, <laughs> and then it crashed. <laughs> there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of uh, 
English well grammar problems too because I remember there being a phrase that they were trying to explain about fusing knights because fuse you can fuse knights now what how do fuse yeah I was like <laughs> fusing <not> fusion how <laughs> fusion how much how? are to fuse uh, yeah but... three or five <laughs> <laughs> you can fuse as many knights as you possibly want and what did you... they turn into yeah what was it do they like, um, combine the stats of both knights yes no. But... Well, no. The basically, it's the equivalent of um, on the lore, those knights that you actually have in your arsenal aren't actually knights, but they're souls of the fallen. So, I mean, you're basically Delicious. how? Yes, basically, <laughs> you have one soul eat the other souls because they become materials, and they in uh, the main knight who eats however many knights you want to give it inherits the stats and the levels. That is actually a very good way to fix a mechanic that a lot of other mobile games have. I like that. Because a lot of mobile games, like, and when I say that, I say two that I've played and one that I've seen from a friend, I can think all do this. As you progress through a game, your inventory becomes yes. so full of, of like, under-leveled gear. Well, not under-leveled. No longer useful gear that you can't use anymore. But right. if you can absorb them into your larger knights and Does keep your inventory progressing with your game, that's I good. hope it doesn't... I just hope it doesn't do that thing where another game did, where if you fuse a low-level item with a really high-level <laughs> item, it will combine it to a medium-rare item. <laughs> and I don't think I'll be like, that. And it'll be like, rip. well, you just lost yeah. like the high-level item. I don't think that's the case here, because as long as the, um, the origin knight that you're leveling or fusing has the... Uh, for example, the HP for, or blah, 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 is still there and you're not fusing it with another knight, it still remains. I mean, if you fuse that high level one into a low level, of course you're going to get medium because it's all about levels and not actually about rarity in this game, I think. Like, there are... Yes. Sorry, go on, continue. There are one star, two star, three star, I don't know how high it goes, I assume five star uh, weapons, and you can mm -hmm. fuse those two, but this, you know... It's mm. just all about levels rather than actual rarity. Mm -hmm. I, was right. just, I was just going to ask, how much does it cost? 200,000 oh, or 2 a million crowns? Uh, when I was, <laughs> doing, I, when I was doing, like, level 2 fu 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 fusion, Haas, <laughs> I got about, um, what was it? I think it was, like, 2,000 crowns for the first fusion. Or, no, not 2,000. It was, like, 500 and 800 and so forth. Okay. So it increases the more you use it? Yes. But you can't the... fuse with Hero Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I think it increases based off of the scale of um, the level of the knight itself. Uh, well, yeah, that makes sense. So I'll start from a low price, but I'll scale up to a ridiculously high price, but hey, you'll have a godlike knight that can't die except <laughs> to a gremlin. <laughs> At least in theory. And hey, right. we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we don't know terribly much. We don't want to read into it and write it off as fantastic or bad in any, <laughs> in any parameter. Right, we'll... Like Skyrim with guns, 11 out of 10. <laughs> it's just our thoughts on what are in the game and what can be occurring in the game and what it can be and stuff. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye out. I encourage you to do the same. Um, we will have all the relevant links also in the uh, show notes so forum thread on the spell knights forums that Eurydice has posted in multiple times answering questions about rise of knights uh, we'll have you can check out the blog post that sega made announcing the new spell knights spin-off rise of knights and then also the rise of knights itunes store which is in canada's itunes so if you want to try it right now uh, you have to create an itunes account in canada and we're not going to tell you how to do that that's a google search for you mm-hmm and Blazing Cobalt, a artist for who's been doing Spawn Knights art, among other things, for quite some time now, uh, pumped out already the the main NPC, uh, Greywell, as fan art already. So that's kind of cool. If you don't want to install the game and haven't seen it, and you want to know kind of what the likeness is and why we are associating it with Outlights, you can check it out. We'll have a link to that art piece also, because... It's pretty obviously our light. Hmm. I think. The grey well suggests the name itself is enough for an indication. Yeah. Yeah. The grey outline shield.
right? Yeah. So we will see. Yeah, well, I mean, based on the face of Grey Will, it kind of looks like my wise ally shield. I'm kind of scared that I'm actually using ally faces <laughs> to, to, to block. I don't know. It's made in the image. Not a real ally. <laughs> How do you know that? Scarlet it's, Shield. It's in it, I'm, power. I'm pretty sure it just says I that. I think it says it. The in, the, in the shield description. Alright, well that was fun. We actually went for a full hour or more. Really we cool. did it! Yay. That's an actual podcast 101. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, did it! We're not back to a weekly schedule or anything like that. When there's enough content to make a full hour of, of talk, we'll be back. Mm. Until then, Next year. we're still around. <laughs> if you want to reach out to us, we still have Steams and Twitters and stuff. Not Steams and not Twitters. And like once a month, I try to stream and then get depressed because no one follows us anymore, so no one cares. Or and it like, doesn't work. I just stream for just Sky Scythe or something like that, and it's sad. But that happens, <laughs> so... I mean... Keep an eye out. We're still doing stuff, we're still here. We still play games a lot. We do. I think... Different th ones. I think Glacius is looking for good mechanically sound Final Fantasy Raiders. We actually found our static. Oh, group. he found a home. All right, he doesn't need you anymore, listener. Yeah. Go home. You, you can still join Leviathan, baby. Final Fantasy Ooh. 14. Or you can join me and Madison and clip it into League. I play that game sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. go, go all the way, Final Fantasy players. I played the last night with you guys, and, like, I got the least amount of deaths, so I was doing something right. <laughs> yes, you also Le just deleting people. You actually did good. <laughs> and then I was eating people. All and right. then I have all this fur in my mouth. Oh, boy. What? All right. Let's wrap it up. Okay. Thank you for listening right. to episode 101 of the Arsenal Podcast. Isn't it 101? Is that what I said? Yes. You said, yeah. you said 100. Yeah. No, he said 101. <laughs> I'm going deaf, guys! <laughs> Alright. And... Final Nights 101. Don't let Solo play Final Nights. Fun missions in February. Better missions came in May. And Rise of Nights on the, uh... On the watch list. We'll see how it goes. Go three rings. Mm -hmm. Continue to impress us. Yay. The word is basically, like... While this is probably not what I wanted, it's still nice to know that they're alive and doing things. Yeah. And not to say that it will always be something that we don't want. We have to wait for version 1. Yeah. And until then! What was the thing that I always say at the end of my stuff? Have a good one. <laughs> there you go. Have to drive home safely. Good. <laughs> don't, hit, don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'm going under... <laughs> what the... No! Oh my we goodness, so we, you we, put we, us in debt! We're we like a hundred dollars in debt! You play the ten second sound to five second sound effect! Thank you! That's also we had to, we we had to, to send come. him to the mines. <laughs> we, we have to trade our limbs to pay back. <sighs> Thanks Don't for listening. Worry. Geared up and ready to go? Thanks for listening to the Arsenal of Spiral Knights podcast. See links and listen to previous episodes on our website, scalaley.com slash arsenal. Send comments, questions, and audio to arsenal at scalaley.com or give us a call at 1-678-322-7765.